we have the initial setup in place. Up next, let's talk about how we can implement some functionality. And like I already probably mentioned 10,000 times in a previous video, essentially when it comes to user reducer or again, since it's a Redux light, effectively the same functionality works in Redux. You wanna dispatch something called action and that action is gonna be handled here in the reducer. And then whatever gets returned from the reducer is gonna be the new state. So here's the deal. By default, this function, whatever we set over here, whether that is a vegan food truck or banana pudding or bobo, whatever, it gets two things. It gets state. So that is the state right before the update and the action. Basically, what are we trying to do? And since those are parameters, we simply go with state. Again, just a convention and an action. Okay, hopefully we're clear on that. And now let's see how we can change something in that state. Basically how we can implement some functionality. Because what we need to understand, it was the same deal over here. When we, for example, remove the item, we just change the state value. And essentially we wanna do it over here as well. We just don't wanna do it directly. You wanna do it through the reducer. And you can pick any of the functions. I think I'll start with clear list because in my opinion, it's going to be the easiest one to grasp. And essentially, if we wanna update something, if we wanna change that state value, we go here with dispatch. And like I said, we have this somewhat funky syntax where we invoke the dispatch, but dispatch is looking for an object and we must, 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 must provide type over here, type property. Yes, you just have to do that. I didn't make that one up. And as far as the type, it's equal to a string. So I can say here, do something, or I can type whatever string value I want, and I'll handle that in the reducer. Now a convention is to use all uppercase and actually assign a variable to this one. And I'll show you in a separate video why we want to assign a variable. For now, let's just stick with convention. And what are we doing over here? we are clearing the list, right? So yes, essentially I would go with clear and then list. This is just a convention. You can write it in camel case. You can write it all in lower case. That's totally up to you. Just remember that you'll have to handle that here in the reducer. So whichever option you pick, just stick with it. Otherwise it's gonna be very confusing. And don't be surprised if you are working on a bigger project with other developers and you'll see this syntax. Yes, this is pretty common. So essentially what I'm saying, I want to clear a list. So now dispatch is like, okay, reducer, now you handle that. I did my work. I dispatched an action. So back in a reducer, like I said, we have two things. We have the state and we have the action. So state is gonna be the state before the update. So once we're done with this function, there's going to be a new state value. Please keep that in mind. And the way we handle that, let's just first log two things. State, or you know what, let's start with an action just to showcase what we have. So notice here, right? So I have my array. Now once I click, there's a big fat error and we'll talk about it, why we have nothing on the screen. But for now, let's just focus on this one. So notice here, I have the clear list in line nine. So this is what I'm getting, that's my action. Now, why we have this whole thing, not just type, well, because we can provide more data in here. And you'll see that in a second, once essentially we need to remove a person. So we'll add more things over here. But if we just log this action, this is gonna be the object that we're passing in. Now, what are we interested in? Well, we wanna get the type, correct? Because we'll do something with that type. That's the one that screams, hey, I wanna do something. Now, why do we have this massive error? Well, whatever we're going to return from the reducer is gonna be that new state value. So notice this line 27 here, our state. Why is it undefined? Well, because reducer, basically a function by default returns undefined. So this underscores the point, whatever you'll return here from this reducer will be that state value. 
So check it out. I can go here with return and I can say shake and bake. Now, I'll still most likely have the error once I click the clear again. Once I save, technically everything is fine, but check it out. I'll have the same error. And again, we can scroll down and we can see that nothing works. Why? Because again, line 28, shake and bake is my people property somewhere in a shake and bake. And of course, the answer is no. So here's what we want to do. First of all, we'll talk about the default returns in a second. But for now, let me just get rid of it. And I'll also remove the console log here. In the reducer, essentially one by one, we'll check for these actions. Yes. If you're wondering, do we have to do this manually? That's correct. That's the setup. We go here with if. Now, quite often you'll see this switch operator used. I actually don't like that approach. Again, switch is an alternative to bunch of if statements, I actually find if statements more readable. So we go here with if, and then I want to check for action. And remember, the type is the property, correct? So we go with type, and I want to check whether it is equal to now what am I passing here clear list. So what do I need to set here? Same deal. Yep, that's correct. So we'll take it here. Copy and paste. And that's why I'm saying you can come up with whatever string value you want over here. Just make sure that you use the same one in the reducer. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then we need to set up the functionality. So whatever we will return from this is going to be my new state value. So how our functionality is going to look like? Well, we'll go with the return because we want to return something. And essentially, I want to spread out the current state values. Why? Well, because even though I'm clearing the list, keep in mind that if I have is loading over here, and let's set it equal to false, what do you think is going to happen if I'll just return empty array? Yes, as far as the people array, my functionality is going to work. But keep in mind, if I'm not going to include this is loading, then essentially your reducer is going to return a new state. And that is loading is going to be gone. So just like previously, effectively, we want to spread out or copy the current state values. So this is the current state before this update. And we want to spread them out, we want to copy them. So now we're also passing this is loading. Otherwise, it's going to be gone. And then we want to overwrite. Then I want to go with, okay, what is going to be the new value of the people? Well, we want to set it equal to an empty array. Correct. So we go here with people and check it out. It's not different to what we have already in clear list. We're just doing that in a reducer. And I really want to stress that point. That's why I picked this particular example. So now let me save it. Let me clear out the console. I have a bunch of errors in there. And now everything should work. Where again, in clear list, we dispatch a specific action called clear and then in the reducer, we handle that. I check for action type. I grab the current state, whatever it is. Of course, now we have the default one, but keep in mind that as we add more functionality, of course, it's going to update itself. So the state is going to be the current state before that particular action. And then we return a new value. This is our new state. This is what we'll see. So now let me clear and check it out. Notice everything works here. So there was no error. And notice this is my new state now. So initially I had four items, and now I have zero. However, notice how nicely we still keep the is loading. So we did not lose this one over here. So essentially, that's the general setup when we want to update something in the state with dispatch. We need to provide a type, which is going to be our action. We need to tell what we're going to do. And then in the reducer, we handle that type. And whatever we return from the reducer is going to be our new state value.